So here we are in an MOT bay with a typical piece of MOT emission testing technology. That's the diesel smokehead, that's the petrol part of it. That kit has been around diesel since 1994, petrol's going back to when I was a tiny boy. The technology that we're using over here hasn't changed in a very long time. The technology in the modern car is advancing at breakneck pace. And what we're seeing is that emissions standards and the quality of the emission output of the modern vehicle is much more refined than that was designed to measure. So what we have is we have new equipment. This is the type of equipment that's already in use in Germany, in Holland, in Switzerland, in Belgium. It counts how many particles it can see in a cubic centimeter. And it could count up to five million of them. We cannot see them with the naked eye. So this is the future of emission testing. We can use this same single machine to test petrols, to test diesels, and to test hydrogen vehicles. Remember, hydrogen, still a carbon, still a combustion engine. So this is great. I've got one machine. It can link itself to whatever system I'm using in the MOT bay, and it's robust. It's got a simple to use interface. And what can I tell you? This is the future. Here we are just taking a quick look at the back of the machine. It's nicely put together. Everything is strong and robust. The filters are easy to access. The hose and the lead is good quality. I like it. The only consumable is that alcohol there. That has to be changed about every 800 hours, cost 20 or 30 quid for a refill. So plenty of testing, you know, that's kind of the insignificant cost really, in the grand scheme of things. I like it, it's a nice bit, it's a nice bit of equipment, nice tool. So here we are doing a free test. Um, what I've done is I've stuck a HEPA filter on the end of the sample probe. That canister will stop any particles going into the particle counter. If we take that off, and bear in mind that we're in a workshop that is closed, we've got the roller shutter door open, so we're in clear air, the heating is not on, there's nothing happening in this workshop right now and we're gonna just let the particle counter count the particles just in the air that we are breathing and that we're just stood around in. I think it would be considerably worse if the workshop was busy, but already we're seeing some quite high readings on there. I know from the guys at Marley that they took this out to um, Germany at the airport, used it on some taxis on the taxi rank and found out within half an hour that about 80% of the taxis on the taxi rank had already removed the DPF from their vehicles and were polluting the atmosphere at a much worse rate than the vehicle was designed to do. So it can find all of the bad behavior. Anybody that's trying to bypass a DPF and cheat their emission output is gonna get caught out. So we can see just how sensitive this piece of equipment is and you can imagine how effective that is gonna be in testing the emissions from motor vehicles. So here we are in the workshop with um, a 20 year old vehicle on the ramp. It's got no diesel particulate filter. The technology is already well out of date. Let's take the HEPA filter off, see what we're getting in the workshop now that should be starting to get a bit of a reading just in the free air that's with the vehicle running. And then we'll pop it into the exhaust and watch the readings and see where they go. I see the exhaust now getting the full effect. I think we should see this jump up pretty aggressively now. There we go. Anything over five million is an absolute fail. Bearing in mind that vehicle will pass the emissions test with the older optical equipment. So it's not an illegal car, there's nothing wrong with it, but when we use a particle counter, we can see just how bad things really are. So here we are, different vehicle on the ramp, We've got the HEPA filter on, we should have a pretty much a zero reading. I'm gonna take that off, let's put it into the exhaust pipe. I wouldn't put my lips over that exhaust pipe, but let's see what the particle counter thinks of it. So it's actually well inside this vehicle and we're not seeing too much of a jump up. 
con considering we're measuring per million particles in a cubic centimeter, we really have got very little coming out the back of that vehicle. Uh, I'm seeing a reading here, four or 5,000, 6,000, may shoot up a little bit. We'll just let it ride for a tiny bit longer to see where we go. But I think what we can take from this is that the modern vehicle with modern technology and a diesel particulate filter is much, much, much better for the environment. Remember, if you're watching our YouTube channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can receive updates when we release new product reviews. The nozzle is coming across. <laughs>